Okay, um, now we're going to be talking about how to do a quick example of putting together a comic strip panel, um, in this case six boxes um, with dialogue using Microsoft Word. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open Microsoft Word. Um, since I'm using Windows 8, i got to go into this other screen. So I pull up Windows 8, um, it, or sorry, Microsoft Word. In this case, I'm using 2007, but 2010, 2013 will work. Um, first thing I'm going to do is change the layout. So first thing I'm going to do is orientation, page layout, orientation, and I'm going to go to landscape. Okay, so I'm going to put title on my strip. So here, just the comic strip example. Okay. Um, I'm going to highlight this and just make it bigger. You can do whatever you want for this, but I usually like to just set up or stand out a little. Um, I'm also going to be using Comic Sans for this um, example. And I'm just going to go ahead and make it italicized and bold. Okay, so i got my title for my strip. Um, another example would be just to put who the author is. In this case, Mr. Franta. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is add my first picture. So first thing I'm going to do is go insert and then go picture. Um, for this, I've already gone ahead and drawn um, a couple different boxes um, with rough drawings. It took me about a minute each. If you're using stock photography, um, clip art, you can go ahead and insert that. So this is just kind of a general thing. I'm not expecting to have a ton of artists do this. Um, the better your drawing, great but this is just kind of a way to add dialog box to any kind of picture. So here, gone, found red box drawing number one. I'm going to go insert. Okay, so now you can see it inserts it. It's a little bigger than I want, and it's not in the right orientation. So the first thing I'm going to do is go right click, um, change the size. Okay, for here you want to make sure the um, aspect ratio under scale is locked. For for today's use, I'm going to go down to two and a quarter inches, so 2.25 inches for each box. Okay, so you know I'm going to keep it at 2.3, and that should be good. Then I close. Okay, now it's still selected. I go up to the green air or green circle, and I'm just going to turn it so it's the right orientation that I want. Then I'm going to click off. Okay, now you can see that that is um, right inserted, right up there. Okay, I'm going to click again. Um, then you can go up to the picture tools. You can add different shadows, boxes that will automatically do this. For my example, I'm just going to go to this one. It does a nice little box with the drop shadow. Okay, now my cursor is at, at the end. I'm just going to tab over once, or actually this for the sake, I'm going to do twice. And then I'm going to go repeat the process. Now, normally I would have a couple different drawings. I'm just going to keep on using these drawings over a few times, just because that's what I have right now. Okay, so again here, I'm going to go make sure that it's locked, and I'm just going to click this 2.3 and be done with it. Okay, automatically resizes it. Again, I need to go change the orientation. Rotate it 90 degrees. Oops, a little too much. Okay, get it back to where I need, and then I'm going to go hit that. Okay, then I'm going to go tab over twice. Again, repeat this process. And we'll go with that one. Again, so just for um, those who are just coming back in, your picture will be selected. Right click, hit size. Make sure the lock expect ratio is clicked. Um, you can change it to whatever size you want here. I'm using 2.3 and close. Scroll back up. Change the, make sure the picture is in the right direction that you want. And click off. Now, this is just, if you get off on this screen and you're kind of wondering how to get back, click the picture and it'll bring up that picture tool thing again. And you get it to whatever, however you want. Okay, now to get down to the other line, I'm just going to hit return, and the cursor is up at the top. And I'm just going to start repeating the process all over again. Now I can put multiple pictures in and do whatever I want with that. Now you can see there's a little dialog box that I had included in my drawing. I'm going to show you that I'm going to go over that in just a minute, and I'm going to show you why. 
make a pretty good time on this. Um, it will take you a couple minutes to get used to this. I've just been playing around with this for a day or two. Um, I've gotten slightly familiar with this. Okay, now I can basically, I want to just make sure that this is all on one page. Okay, good. Tab over twice. And I think you guys are starting to get the hang of this. Okay. Again, right click, go down to size, make it however you want. Here again, I'm using 2.3. I was using 2.5 before, and it was, well, the sheet's pretty much. Um, you might even want to try going three, or sorry, two inches. And again, I'm tabbing over twice. That's kind of giving me the layout that I want. You can play with it, but if you're not going to spend a lot of time on it, just kind of copy what I've been doing, and it should get you by pretty good. Again, we're going to be more worried about what's going on in the captions and making sure you're describing everything versus what the quality of the art is. I want to make it sh so we can see what you're trying to communicate, but we're not going to be marking off for your overall art skills. And again, the reason why I'm kind of uh, showing you how to do this is so it will help you communicate your message better than having to write it all by hand, especially if your handwriting is not that legible. Okay, so now I've got six boxes. That's only taking me a couple minutes. Again, you can go smaller, put more on, but you want to be able to put as many messages as possible. Okay, next up is going to go right up here in the upper left-hand corner, hit Insert. Now I can go shapes. Now just go all the way down here, and you got the different colors. So this is kind of like a thinking bubble. This is an actual dialogue bubble. Okay. Now I'm going to put my bottom arrow here and draw a box. Okay. Now you say that wow, that orientation is not right. Now I click on this, and I hold the yellow little circle. I can change where that arrow comes back, so it looks like the dialogue is now coming out of my character's mouth. Okay, and I can play around with this a little and get the text box however I want and cover up what I did before. Okay, now just selecting that, I can start typing my dialogue. And I'm just typing hello, highlight it, and then you go back up to home. And you can change the font size style however you want. I'm going to put that. And you can also change the alignment so it's center, left, or right. And I'm just going to make that comic sand so it looks a little more like a comic strip. And I'm going to make it bold. Okay, so that is how to get a little dialog box. Now, if you want to put it in a caption, just go back up to insert. And you, one option you have is to do a text box and you can just put it down at the bottom right here it'll bring up and you can just say this is my example and now it's going to cut off a little and you might have to play with that now again there's multiple ways you can put text in here but this is just a quick way to do it I change the font now I can see here I can put center justify and put it right in the middle now see here, I've done a text box, and I've done a dialogue or caption box down at the bottom. And that, and I can repeat that for all these. That took me all of about five or six minutes. Got any questions? Please ask.